a show like Republic of Doyle, it's so big that there's shoots going on all over. They call them multiple units, I think. Is that what they call them, Arthur Bernard? Multiple yeah. units? Yeah, we have multiple units on the go. Multiple units on the go terminology. I love it. <laughs> okay. Um, and Martha Bernard, of course, Tinny. Tinny Doyle, how are you? Great. How are you? I'm good. Now, you were relegated to a, a very cold warehouse, so thanks for meeting us in this warm location. Yes, it's nice. It's nice to be out of there. <laughs> you were doing something. Can you tell us? It was not good. Just say, was it good or bad what you were doing in that warehouse? Oh, it was a bit scary, I'll say. Yeah, I think I may have been in danger. I think I know why she was in danger, but I can't say, and, yeah. and neither can this girl here. Well, no. I just wonder what that pressure's like, that you know, but you can't tell anybody. What is that like? Oh, well, I think I'm kind of used to it now by the fourth season, not giving yeah. the things away. And it's actually great because there's a huge amount of people that do know, so if you do want to talk about it, <laughs> I can talk about it with Mark and Linda and Kristen and everyone, right. <laughs> if you know, if you really have to talk about what's going on. First of all, who saw the cliffhanger? All right, the, the, the cliffiest of all hangers, as I said to Mr. Hocko, hey? A lot, of, a lot of things that you were unsure about leaving the third season, for sure. Right, I just remember you and your mom on the sofa, and then the photo, yeah. right? And your dad is the evil one. That's a bit of a blow. He's uh, the guy that kidnapped me about a year before right. I find out that he's my father. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Crocker. Kevin Crocker. Kevin Crocker. Paul Gross. Paul Gross. Great actor. F lovely fellow, I'm guessing, in real life. Oh, yeah. Great guy. Really funny. Right. Yeah. But evil. Pure, unmitigated evil. And he's your dad. Yep. <laughs> but how evil is he, Tinny wonders. Dot, dot, dot. Hey? <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, I think that that was part of it is, is you know, finding out that that's her father. She obviously would hope that that it wouldn't all be evil, you know, because that's... Right. So There has to be some redeeming there has quality to be a for her mom to have yeah. loved him. Yeah. And Jake and him were once partners, and they got along great in the beginning, so... And she then, can turn him. Maybe. We'll see. Dot. <laughs> Your storyline, uh, I, I would say, has got, uh, well, I mean, you've just, we've watched you kind of grow on the show, right? Yeah. And your life since the show has started, what's, where were you then, where are you now? Like, I think of those promo pictures, which I'm going to show right now, and you had those crazy leggings on. Yeah. And now yeah. you're, like, super style and girl. Like, where, what, like, how's your life changed? Those as, were character as Martha, shots, by the oh, way. Fair enough, fair <laughs> enough, right? All right, very good. Um, but what was I going to say? Your life has... Uh, changed how? Tell, take me through it. Well, I, yeah, I was thinking about this. Um, I've been on the show since I was 20, so it's it's crazy. It's been like a huge part of my adult life. Um, but uh, I'm engaged. Yeah. I just recently got engaged. Uh, and my boyfriend and I, or my fiance and I, met on the show. So Wait, Now he's an yeah. um, award-winning writer. Yeah, he was one of the main writers in the writing room in the first season, and then he's written uh, a few scripts since then in the following seasons. We met during the first season uh, at the Duke. Nice. Which is where a lot it's of relationships the place have started. Of love. Yeah, a lot of relationships on the show have started there. So And you wouldn't know what to look at it really, but it's super romantic, hey? Very romantic. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Okay, very good. Okay, well since you brought up this wedding, now let's just talk about it because there's hearts breaking all over, <laughs> right? That now Martha Bernard's OTM, as I said to Mark, uh, you're off the, off the market. Off the market. Right? Yeah. Yep. Um so uh What's going to happen now? Because you're, is that a bi-coastal thing? Will you move here? Like, how will that shake down? I don't know. Like, well, we're, since we're both in the industry, it's like we basically go where the work is. So usually we've been lucky that I've, when I'm shooting, he's able to be here with me. And when I'm not shooting, I'm able to be wherever he's writing. So we've nice. been, uh, but, but we have done the Vancouver, he's from Vancouver, so we've done the Vancouver St. John's flight so many times, like way too many times to count in yeah. the past four years. And of course, we hope that you and Des are going to get back together. Is there anything you can say about that? Will there be love? Des and Tinny are the best of friends. Is there a dot, dot, dot there? I'm sorry. Nothing. That's all I can, I can tell you. That's all I can tell you. They're the best of friends, but yeah. sometimes best friends, I mean, you know, sometimes love grows from that, and I think it started from a place of a mutual crush, but now they just have such a solid friendship that when those feelings do come into play, I think both of them are a bit afraid of them, even though... Of I jeopardizing mean, it. Of jeopardizing yeah. it. I think that's that's kind of the the place they've gotten to in their relationship. Right. <laughs> Look who it is. Desbot. Awesome. Oh, yeah. Des? What are you at, Tinny Boy? I mean, Katrina Boy? How you feeling? Can you walk right yet or what? 
Come on, the men. I heard you scored first in your shooting range test. How'd you hear that? Tinny, I'm a PI. I have my ways. And by ways, I mean Rose told me. But it's definitely, it's not that, that it'll never happen. I don't think that it'll never happen. Right. I think that they'll always have feelings for each other. Right. So, but right now, they're just the best of friends. If you could be anybody else on the show, who would you be? Oh, that's a good question. It could, now, it could be a regular character. It mm -hmm. could be a guest star. It doesn't have to necessarily be a girl. It could be anybody, really, as an actor. Who would you like to play? Hmm. Um... I don't know. I was trying to think of who my favorite character was earlier, and I just love all the characters so much. But Rose is such a wicked character. Yeah. I love Rose, and I love the way Linda plays that character. But I'm trying to think of a fun guest star that I would love to be. Um, Kristen said the chip truck guy. The like, chip truck you know, guy, the Jody. Guy. Yeah. yeah, Jody. Yeah, that was great. Yeah. I was thinking Garrison Steele. Like, what oh, a fun no. character. That that. Victor has the most fun playing that character yeah. when he well, came. Well, he was drunk the last time, wasn't he? Exactly. The he was just like hammered up. Yeah, always just being given drinks by everyone and just doing everything his way. So I can't let you go without talking just quickly about the success of Beatdown because for your first major motion picture starring role, huge congratulations to you. Thank you. What's next in terms of the big screen? Have you got anything on the horizons? Or? No, I haven't. I would love to uh, yeah. be doing more films, but I have. I don't have anything on the horizon You have no yet. time though, probably, right? Uh, well, I haven't had a whole lot of time to audition or think about other projects because we're still, uh, you know, right in the thick of, thick of season four. So... Um, other than that, though, yeah, I mean, I'm hoping to to be able to do more stuff. I did a short film recently with my friend Emily Bridger, and she wrote it and directed it. And uh, our friend Duncan DeYoung, who does uh, stills, was the cinematographer. He does stills on Doyle. So, oh, cool. Yeah, so we did that. It was so just, much uh, talent in this city. Oh, my gosh. So much. In unbelievable. And so we had, like, you know, it was all volunteer shoot, a little short film. We went out to a beach in Salmon Cove and shot it. And it's going to be really nice. Uh, it's called In So Many Words. So nice. look we'll out look for forward that. to that at, at the festivals. festivals. Yeah. yeah. OK, now one last thing. Um, give us one cell line for season four, Republic of Doyle. It's, it's a whole new world. <laughs> it's a whole new world. <laughs> Don't you feel like, no. Yeah, I do feel a little bit like I was like, should I, shouldn't I? <laughs>